first the basic requirements. Number one, the basic ground must be clean, dry, smooth, and no cracks. Number two, the concrete ground is supposed to have low moisture content less than 2.5%, and the gypsum ground should be less than 0.5%. Number three, edge of two meters ruler on floor surface should be within two millimeter. Besides, it also can be installed on wood floor, compound wood floor, tile floor, marble floor, and so on. Second, installation method. The ground should be cleaned before installation. Unfold the floor on ground more than 24 hours in advance, and the local temperature should be no lower than 15 centigrade. Leave at least 5 cm on each end when cutting. Number 1. Movable installation. The pieces of flooring are adhesive together with a special single-sided tape provided by us. After installation, the whole count cannot be moved. Number 2. Fixed installation. Starting from the borderline of the flooring, brush glue inward 14 cm at the seam of two pieces, or use double-sided tape provided by us for bonding. Number 3. Full glue installation. Cover the whole ground under the flooring with glue for cementation. It's better to use full glue installation method for basketball court and tennis court. Otherwise, it will affect the rebound when the ball drops to the ground. Third, hot welding method. First, Group a small gap and the seam of two pieces by grooving machine. Then weld with the welding rod in the gap by welding machine. The temperature of welding machine must be over 500 centigrade. The welding can be carried out by hand or automatic machine. Normally, before welding, it needs to use one short weld rod for testing the temperature. After the welded part gets cool, use knife to remove the protruded parts. Hot welding method also can be applied to partial fixed installation and full glue installation. Fourth, cleaning and maintenance. Regular maintenance will extend the flooring durability. The cycle of maintenance depends on its natural condition and using frequency. Normally, the floor should be cleaned daily by mop or by vacuum cleaner. Notice. Placing doormat at the entrance is needed. Number one, never step on the count with leather shoes, high wheeled shoes. Number two, never cut, squeeze, or press. The surface should not be abraded by hard articles in order to avoid breaking or damaging. Number three, never use corrosive chemicals such as acid and alkali on the 